good morning folks so that is the sum total of my uh, finances at the moment so uh, that's uh, essentially 18 pound just over 18 pound so that's a two pound coin so that's two four six seven eight and a tenner ten pound and then a little bit of shrapnel there so just over just over 18 pound so I need to go to the shop uh, and get um, uh, sorry. Uh, so I need to go to the shop and get spot some food, uh, get me some food, um, and I'm going to try and save some of that, if possible, a couple of quid at least, for my oyster, so that I can get to work. Uh, but anyway, so um, yeah. Uh, so I'm about to go to the shops. Uh, I have been editing and uploading uh, all day yesterday and partly today. So you see it's got another hour and 23 minutes. This is 53 minutes long this one. Uh, this is from uh, Saturday. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a lot of work. Uh, you know editing and processing and then uploading uh, it can take hours you know what I mean and I started uploading this this morning it's now nearly 11 o'clock uh, and I think I started uploading something like about 9 uh, finished editing last night but then it was like 3 o'clock in the morning or whatever the heck it was and I was like super super tired and I thought right I'm going to bed um, so I just left it and then this morning round about well I think I got up about 8 uh, and then like finished uh, processing well no the processing had finished actually sorry uh, and then I started to upload like I say it when it first started to upload it said it was like two and a half hours two and a half hours it was going to take to upload and it's now an hour and 21 minutes uh, left to to upload uh, so but anyway right so now let's go to the shops uh, and maybe I don't know uh, yeah so I was gonna I was thinking maybe I could use the YouTube transporter um, but sometimes like, I, like I've said sometimes I get do get self-conscious about doing stuff outside oh let's use the uh, you uh, YouTube transporter okay folks so one two three and <laughs> so we made it to the supermarket folks and uh, yeah um, I already started my shopping so well uh, got spots food got some milk got some biscuits uh, and I got some beef sausages as well because I love beef sausages nice right as you can appreciate it's rather awkward trying to do this and pull the trolley and carry this all at the same time so uh, bear with me folks Okay folks, so this video is a bit sort of all over the place, or it, well I might be able to get it back together. It's just been really awkward because as you can imagine, trying to uh, film and pull this thing and pull the shopping bag, uh, plus the fact I'm going to be mindful that in the store uh, there's lots of staff and there's lots of security uh, and you know it all depends to be quite honest it really does depend because some places like they'll sort of like you know uh, say like oh no you can't film in here blah 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 some places they won't mind or they don't care uh, and and then of course it's also about you know now obviously I'm out in the public at the moment there's people walking all around the street you know what I mean uh, and I'm filming and I don't have a problem with that necessarily because they're in a the public space, essentially. Do you know what I mean? So therefore, uh, as the law stands, 
it says there's no when you're in a public place there is no uh, expectation of privacy when you're in a public space uh, and so therefore if you get filmed inadvertently or whatever by somebody in the street filming then that's the way it is do you know what I mean but the thing is obviously I try not to gratuitously you know uh, I know, sorry. I see this is this is what I'm saying, it's really really awkward because I've got I haven't got both hands free. Uh, and when you haven't got both hands free, uh, trying to maneuver the camera around and pull a trolley bag all at the same time is really awkward. <laughs> so it just makes it you know it just makes things really difficult and awkward. So but anyway, um, but the thing is that uh, you know, whilst I'm in the store, I didn't really want to, like, film people in the store. And it sounds crazy, doesn't it? It sounds really awesome, because, like, it doesn't bother me so much in the street, like I said, do you know what I mean? I mean, if people are walking past or whatever, you know, that's the way it is. But, like, I guess, again, it comes to that thing of being in close proximity and being sort of, uh, you know, outside. If, if it gets uncomfortable for whatever reason, whether I feel really self-conscious, whether I, you know, whether somebody's having an issue with it or, or whatever, at least outside I feel like I can just walk away. You know what I mean? It's like, if you like, I can escape, <laughs> if you like, you know what I mean? Whereas in a store or something like that, and if somebody has an issue with it, and especially if I'm, I'm actually doing my shopping there, so it's like, if, if I was filming and then, like, somebody was walking down the aisle and they were walking right past me as I'm filming and for whatever reason they suddenly took issue with it uh, and started to make a performance or whatever do you know what I mean uh, and and decided like you know to take great offense about it um, I'm kind of cornered aren't I because like it's like I can't really leave the store because I'm in the middle of doing my shopping um, and and like I say, it's just like, you just don't want the hassle, do you know what I mean? You just don't want that, you know what I mean? You just don't want the hassle. So, um, so basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to explain to you that, like, uh, I really want to do more stuff like that, to be honest. I really do. Because, um, like I said, I mean, that's what my channel's about, isn't it, as well? It's not just, well, it's about all sorts of stuff, obviously, you know what I mean? It's about exploring, it's about, it's about everything and everything, and, and, essentially it's a documentation of my life and like part of that is going to the shops and doing some shopping which is the mundane boring everyday thing but nonetheless it's what we do uh, and like you know yeah why not document it but like I said it's just it just I don't know it can be just really awkward at times you know there's so many different things to consider do you know what I mean like I said it, possibility of somebody taking umbrage to it, the, the store itself uh, having an issue about it, um, whatever, do you know what I mean? And it's like, I don't know. Anyway, so, uh, I was kind of hoping to film a little bit more than that and uh, I was hoping to, um, you know, show you me actually picking stuff off of the shelf and, and all the rest of it. As I said, it's just partly the practicalities of it and like I said, also just trying to be mindful about, you know, filming in, in a store, essentially. Right, anyway, waffle, 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 as usual. Um, right, uh, I'm gonna, what's them? Uh, I was thinking maybe I should have used the YouTube strand, a little bit of blah, 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 blah. Use the YouTube transporter back at the store, but, yeah. Hindsight is a, is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, so... Uh, uh, anyway, I'm sure... I, you see, I'm, I'm thinking miles ahead of myself here and I'm trying to think, like, how am I going to put this together now? Because, like, the way I used the YouTube transport before and it's like, no, hang on, I, I, I should have done it either outside of the shop or before I actually went into the store or, or whatever. So, I don't know. Anyway, right folks, just for the time being, because like, I'm not sure I want to trip all the way on doing this. Uh, so for now, I'm going to leave it there and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. Okay folks, so that's what I've got left. So that's 
246891010 so that's 10 pound uh, and a bit again a little bit of shrapnel so it came to 8 pound something can't remember exactly off the top of my head but 8 pound odd um, how long have we got left by the way uh, 42 minutes now um, so yeah um, don't know what you're going to make of this little video but look at sleepyhead here Yay. Oh, hello cutie pie Ooh, big stretch there you had a nice sleep son Yay. you had a nice sleep yes you lovely boy oh, you're such a cutie pie aren't you Yay. so um, yeah so basically I mean Spot's got lots of food at the moment really but I'm just making sure that he doesn't run out you see because I don't want him running out like he did before so you see he's got all this food here um, and got two pouches left in this one and I've just bought him another box of this so another one of these um, so hopefully that'll last him until um, no, that's not, actually let me just check something so the bills are due again on the 28th uh, I get paid on the Thursday um, so there's gonna it's gonna be in in the red straight away uh, on the 28th because the bank will pay all of it but the trouble is then I have to pay the bank back and that's when you know all my money from here from the Thursday will no longer be there uh, because obviously the bank will take it because the bank has already paid my bills essentially that's basically how it's working um, so I'm just trying to work out next Thursday so I don't know where are we yeah so next Thursday 30th on this Thursday come in uh, so next Thursday the 6th I'm clear because uh, the next set of bills are due on the 15th which is a Saturday so chances are they'll probably go out on the 13th uh, but at least next Thursday uh, should be free and clear again um, whoo blimey it's a flipping seesaw of you know up and down up and it's like feast and famine um, anyway so um, yeah so I hope you're going to enjoy this little video. Um, like I said, I, I just, do you know, the, I don't know. The, I say so many different things uh, and things change all the time. But basically, at this moment in time, I'm just, I'm really, really getting so much from doing my vlogs at the moment. I mean, seriously, it's like, it's not a matter of whether, how many views they get how many subscribers I've got, whatever. On a personal level, uh, it, I'm just, it's making me feel really happy. And I think it's because, like I've said before, I'm an artist by nature. I am. I'm a creative person. Uh, and I need a creative outlet. And at the moment, I'm not really doing a lot of painting. I, actually, by the way, uh, speaking of which, sorry, I just remembered. Let me show you my, I am doing a little project uh, related to the shop related to my work uh, so actually that should be the way around so actually I'm waiting to try and get myself some glue sticks uh, for my glue gun because uh, I haven't got any left at the moment um, I think that's, yeah anyway um, but yeah so this is my little idea for a piece of artwork uh, and I'll actually take it into the shop uh, and see if they want to stick it on a wall somewhere maybe I don't know whether they'll be allowed, you know, whether we're allowed to do that, I don't know. But anyway, um, but um, yeah, because I've got this thing about 3D art at the moment. See how I get, I get little flipping. I don't know what to how, what to call it. Be in my bonnet, ideas, whatever. I get these little things that come into me, into my head, and then like, uh, you know, I, and I and I was like. I get like this, you know, I get a bug about it and I feel like I've got, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. So at the moment, in terms of my art at least, uh, I've got this thing about 3D art. Uh, I'm not just doing a two-dimensional representation on a, on a canvas, but doing something that, that's more, well, obviously like I say, 3D, but you know, that sort of sticks out, that looks more unusual, different. Uh, and hopefully more interesting to look at in a sense um, 
because I've also had this thing about interactive art and I've had that for many many years and I have tried several little projects uh, in terms of the interactive art because um, for me that's that I think is, is a really big thing and I think it's really something that uh, because art is to me it's not just about like I've said before pretty chocolate box paintings and don't, like I said before don't get me wrong I'm not saying there isn't a place for that because even I like chocolate box pretty you know like a cottage and lovely flowers or whatever do you know what I mean um, you know I, I, even I like that sort of stuff but these days particularly I think art needs to be much more interactive so that the person especially the lay person persons that's not necessarily because it considers themselves an artist or whatever can actually interact with the art in some way so that they can feel part of it do you know what I mean and I think that's really important especially for people that don't have a lot of confidence around creativity and don't have a lot of confidence in terms of their abilities in terms of being creative um, to be able to actually interact with a piece of artwork I think is, is really really important because hopefully it helps them to feel that maybe they can be creative, do you know what I mean? Because I believe everybody's creative in their own way. Uh, and I've said this many, many, many times. Uh, everybody's creative in their own way, no matter what it is, do you know what I mean? If you're a human being, then therefore by your very nature you are creative. Um, because I believe all human beings to be creative, like I said. Uh, anyway, right, okay, I'm waffling as usual. Uh, and I need to put this food away uh, and so I'm going to leave it there and I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.